Hi everyone, welcome to your bonus love readings. So my intention with this is if your monthly love connection reading didn't resonate with you, hopefully whatever messages we get here for you, this is for all signs, individual signs, mini love connection readings. Hopefully something in here will resonate for you. So I have the Zodiac Oracle here and I'm gonna mix it up and we're gonna do the signs in whatever order they fall in. So there's no particular order in which we're doing the signs. So those of you who are new that are checking this out, if you know, don't know who I am, my name is Mary and this is Leo Sunlight Insight Tarot. Um, I am a Leo and you know the sun represents Leo and I love to give insight. So Leo Insight, Sunlight Insight Tarot. So this is bonus love connection reading for all signs. Thank you everybody for stopping by and watching. Welcome, welcome, come on in. Live chat is open, we can all chat together. And Super Chat is open, so if anybody would like to throw a Super Chat, you're more than welcome to do that. So, all right, so let's see what we got here. I'm going to be pulling a Romance Angel, a Lover's Oracle, and about three tarot cards for each sign. And we'll see what the mutual energy is between you and your person. can be any kind of connection. Who do you... Whoever you have in mind at this time, it could be an ex, it can be, uh, you could be married, you could be dating, you could be just boyfriend, girlfriend, whatever your situation is, whoever you have in mind at this time, this is intended for that person. So let's see who we have first. Let's see who we have first. Let's see who we have first here, spirit. Who do you want to be first? Libra. Do we have any Libras here? Libra. So these are in no particular order. So I'm going to leave this deck here. So let's get a romance angel for Libra spirit, please. What is the mutual connection between Libra, whoever they're thinking about at this time? These are love connection readings. Those just joining each sign, individual mini readings, love connection energy between you and the person that you're thinking of at this time. So let's get one card for Libra in their person. So we got religious factors here. Your love life is influenced by your religious upbringing and spiritual path. Okay, so let's pull one of these. So um, it could be religious factors. It just could be you are very different from each other, um, have different beliefs, have different morals. It could be different backgrounds. It could be different um, cultures. It could be anything here. So however that means for you. So let's see, let's get one of these and then we'll pull some tarot for Libra. Let's get one of these for Libra. And we have, give thanks for the blessings of love soon to come your way. Know that you deserve to be and have all that your heart truly desires. So some sort of blessings and love are coming in for you. And I think whatever differences you may have between the two of you, I, I don't think that's going to uh, play a big factor here. I mean, it may for a while at the beginning, or it has. And please keep in mind, I could pick up on past, present, or future energy. So if you feel like, oh, this is something that already happened to me or um, whatever here. So please keep that in mind. All right, one more shuffle for Libra. All right, three cards for Libra. Let's do... Um, this is the mutual energy between you religious factors. So again, some sort of factors between the two of you, some kind of differences. It could be anything from different eth ethnicities, different cultural backgrounds, different religious beliefs, just beliefs in general, whatever here. But some sort of blessings are coming in in love. So I think um, you both are just going to follow your heart's desire and just go for it anyway. So let's see um, one for the actual situation. The Five of Cups, Energy, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Don't get too caught up on the signs. So I feel like that this sadness here, this lost sadness. So if you're spending time apart because of these uh, differences, I think you're both feeling the sadness, the loss, the pain, the heartache of not being with one another. So let's see what your advice is in this situation. The Princess of Pentacles. So this is the Page of Pentacles. So this is making an offer, you or them to bring more stability for long-term commitment. Um, let's see where this can go, communication. You know, really stabilizing it here and uh, bringing in stability. 
you know, and here's the pentacle of like the offer here of let's, let's work on this. Let's see where it goes with that pentacle energy, slow, steady. Let's take it day by day, step by step. Let's just see where it goes. So let's see what the possible outcome is for you. The moon energy here, Cancer Pisces. So that can be about secrets uh, coming to light. Um, you know, maybe you're feeling both being a little confused, like I don't know how this is going to work, but let's try. That's kind of the energy I'm getting with that moon energy is sort of like um, unsure, can't see things clearly. You don't see like the future clearly yet, but you know you both want to try because sad and hurt and loneliness here. It's like I can't be without this person. And I do see blessings in, blessings in love uh, coming here, going after what you desire. So let's see, six of wands. So there's success, victory here, moving forward. Leo Sag Aries doesn't have to be. So the overall energy too on the bottom is success and victory. And the six of wands usually, you know, in a regular tarot deck shows the offer, on, you know, the wreath on the, on the wand of the offer coming in and being very successful. So I do see... As you move forward and get past these illusions, these differences, and you work on it slow, steady, practical, um, there is success and victory here and blessings coming your way, Libra. Wow, so it's a nice energy. So I hope that resonated for you, Libra. If it did, chat about it. Let's chat about it down in the chat. Libra, thank you for being here. All right, let's see who's next. Capricorn, any Cappies in the house? Cappy, Cappy, let's see what's going on with you and your person, Capricorn. Let's see what's going on with Capricorn and their person at this time, whoever you have in mind. Spirit, please. The love energy right now between Capricorn and their person. Welcome, everybody. If you're new, welcome, welcome. If you know who I am, returning, um, thank you for being here. Everybody check the description box below. Tons of stuff down there. How to book a personal reading lots and lots of stuff please do give a thumbs up to help circulate the video be greatly appreciated like share comment all that great stuff if you haven't subscribed please do be greatly appreciated so capricorn let's see what the energy is capricorn let go of control issues allow the situation to unfold naturally so somebody here trying to control this relationship in some way or trying they're donned this to get this to stabilize, to be for it to maybe be committed. Um, but I don't know, spirit saying here, just let it unfold naturally. Don't be so, uh, you know, connected, obsessed with the outcome. Where is this going to go? What's going to happen? Just, just go with the flow and just let it go. I'm feeling like a very anxious feeling. So you may be feeling very, very anxious. All right, so let's get one for you and your person at this time, Capricorn. Only time will tell, yeah. Just going with the flow here, only time will tell. Oh boy, so let's see. Capricorn, only time will tell. And it doesn't, you know, that doesn't have to be a negative energy. Just, you know, just whatever will be, will be. Don't try so hard. You may scare this person away. Um, just go with the flow. All right. So let's get your current situation between you and your person. The two of cups. So definitely soulmate energy here. Uh, lovers coming into union, soulmate union. So I, I feel like you both are feeling the connection here with the Two of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. So let's get, um, that's the mutual energy. But someone's trying to control this um, advice for you. <laughs> we got the moon again. Wow. So moon making their presence here tonight. So Cancer, Cancer Pisces again here with the moon. So let's get one more for advice for you, Capricorn. Let's see, advice for Capricorn. And then the Princess of Pentacles again. I can't make this up. Wow. So uh, maybe this could be a secret admirer. <laughs> maybe there's somebody you like or somebody likes you, but nobody's saying anything because of the moon is so, you know, again, with that like secretive, kind of energy not seeing things clearly 
somebody needs to speak up here. Take a very careful, slow, practical approach with this person. Um, or they may be thinking about approaching you. Um, because somebody definitely here feels like somebody is their soulmate, their person. They definitely want the two of cups with them. But not telling them, not telling them. Someone needs to come forward here. Very practical, slow approach. So only time will tell how this will work out. Um, maybe you're trying to control your feelings, trying to hold back for some reason. So let's see what's on the bottom of the deck. The Five of Pentacle energy. So... You know, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, that's our energy. So you could be feeling left out in the cold, neglected, abandoned for some reason from this person. Um, maybe because and right under that spirit, it's like, nope, the eight of wands. So that's travel, action, passionate communication. So somebody needs to tell the truth here of the Queen of Swords energy and communicate how they truly feel about somebody because somebody's feeling lonely here, abandoned, neglected kind of energy. And that's you. So whether you was, you know, seeing this person at one time or you like them, they like you, but nobody's saying anything um, and feeling just like kind of lost. Um, but yet still needing to let things go with the flow. And somebody needs to speak up to get past this um, moon energy of nobody saying, nobody talking, nobody saying anything. And lovers coming into union here. So some kind of union here with soulmate energy with the two of cups. So I see slow practical approach. Somebody needs to make the first approach here, Capricorn. All right, I hope that resonated for you, Capricorn. That was your message. Thank you, everybody, for being here. All right, let's see who's next. Scorpio. Scorpio. Any water sign Scorpios here? Let's see what the mutual love energy is like between you and your person, Scorpio. All right, let's get a card for Scorpio. What's going on with Scorpio? Scorpio, love energy with Scorpio. Okay, well, that just flew out. <laughs> Passion, allow your heart and soul to sing with joy. So this definitely is a passionate um, connection here between you and whoever you're thinking of at this time. Passion. Let's see if there's love here or if it's just passion. All right. Let's see. Let's see. Let's get one for Scorpio. And we have here. Imagine all unwanted thoughts dissolving into light, creating room for new opportunities poss and possibilities for your life. So I think this is telling you, Scorpio, let go of the past, things of the past, because you have this new possibility of a very passionate connection coming in here, Scorpio. All right, so let's get some tarot. Imagine what it would be like, this person, if there's somebody you have your eye on, this could be somebody new you haven't met yet, or somebody you kind of like. Or somebody could be feeling very passionate about you. Maybe you're not even aware of that. All right. So let's see what the actual situation is. Wow. So we have the Nine of Swords. So somebody's stressed out here. Worry, anxiety, fear. Uh, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Doesn't have to be, though. Um, yeah, a lot of stress here. So... This is letting all these thoughts, stressful thoughts, just dissolve into light and create room for this new passionate opportunity. And then you have temperance here. So balancing out your energy, Sagittarius here, this is your, this is your advice, is to have patience, balance out your energy. This is the soul, uh, angel that brings the soulmates together. So there is an opportunity here for soulmates to come together. If somebody can get out of their head stop stressing and balance their energies out i feel it could be a very balanced connection also so let's get one more for your possible outcome seven of pentacles energy here so virgo trust capricorns it's the energy of just kind of waiting around investing but waiting patiently waiting somebody's waiting here and then five of cups again and that's your energy 
Cancer Scorpio Pisces, you know, lost sadness, hurt. Oh, I feel like there is an opportunity here for a very passionate connection, but somebody may be too stressed out, too nervous, anxious, has too much fear, so they may, may not even take action because this person here is not taking action. They're just kind of standing there, like maybe waiting for the other person to make the first move. Um, but I mean, we do have temperance here, so things could balance out. Things could come together if you let it. But somebody may not because they can't get over the stress and may end up with just this uh, lonely, hurt kind of feeling. Um, I feel a stuck, a stuck energy there, like nobody making a move. But both feeling sad because you're not with each other, but yet stressed about it and not making any moves. But Temperance wants you to know your advice is to balance out your energies. This can be a very balanced union if you choose it to be yeah having needing the strength here to come forward somebody does here um needing strength here but be up to you and your person but the opportunity is here oh boy scorpio so i hope that resonated for you all right let's see who's next thank you scorpio thank you everybody and welcome everybody Sagittarius, any Sagittarians here? Let's see what the mutual love energy is like between you and your person, Sagittarius. Again, welcome everybody, welcome, welcome. Thank you for being here. All right, if you don't know who I am, I am Mary, it's my channel, it's about a year old. If you like my style, how I read, you wanna check out my channel, please feel free. If you like what you see, please do subscribe, all that great stuff, Be greatly appreciated. All right, Sagittarius, let's see what the mutual love energy like is like between you and your person, whoever you're thinking of at this time. Sagittarius, okay, free yourself. So we have free yourself. It's time to take back control of your life. So, oh, free yourself. So you're needing to free yourself from something here. Let's see what's going on. I feel like you've been caged up for a very long time. And now you're feeling like I need to jump over this fence so I can roam free. And how fitting is that? Because Sagittarius, you are half horse. And here we have the uh, unicorn, which is a horse. I think this is the only card in the deck that has a horse on it. Well, no, there's other horses, but. So let's see what we have here. If you could do anything, what would it be? The answer dwells in your heart, not in your mind. For the heart is the gateway to the soul. So this is like following your heart. You know, it could be also freeing yourself from mental entrapment. This definitely reminds me of the Eight of Swords energy, like being trapped in your head and your mind, can't get out of your own way, your own thoughts, you know, and instead of, you know, overthinking and being trapped in that energy, just relax, go with the flow, listen to your heart. What does your heart want? Follow your heart, not your head is kind of what I'm getting about a situation. So let's see. Sagittarius, between you and your person, what's going on here? You and your person, what's going on here? All right, so let's get the actual situation. Queen of Pentacles, energy. So this could be the person of interest. This could be you, um, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, or just the energy of the Queen of Pentacles of being very stable, grounded, uh, smart, analytical, practical, um, well-balanced, you know, thinking things thoroughly, a practical approach here. So feeling stable. Let's see what your advice is. So the five of wands, so that is uh, conflict. It can be conflict, competition around you, or inner conflict and turmoil. Oh, so... And that's your advice, is the five of wands. But I think you really need to just stabilize yourself, ground yourself, and get out and free yourself of this mental conflict. Just follow your heart. Just go with the flow. Listen to your soul. All right, so let's see what your outcome is, whoever you have in mind for this. Three of swords. So that's heartbreak, heartache, something painful here. 
Oh, I feel like maybe something painful here, this is your outcome, may hold you back from moving forward um, in love and just maybe love in general or if you have anybody in mind at this time. Or there could be a situation here where you know, you're, you now know your self-value, your worth, and you know your worth more than whatever situation you're trapped in. There's a lot of fighting, a lot of arguing, bickering, conflict. You just cause each other a lot of pain and heartache here. So for some of you, it could be just now freeing yourself from this uh, energy. Know your worth more than this, following your heart, what you really truly need to do. Or for some of you past and you know if this is a past situation it's holding you back from moving forward in a new direction for some of you yeah truth and clarity here with the queen uh king of swords libra gemini aquarius so yeah truth clarity cutting away those things no longer serving you telling it like it is not holding back clear communication clear thinking so it can be male female doesn't matter but we have the king and queen of um King of Swords, Queen of Pentacles. I feel like you're now ready to speak your truth. You're now ready to cut away things no longer serving you. You know your value, your worth. And you may be now freeing yourself from a situation no longer serving you. It's just too painful and it's too much fighting and bickering and arguing. And under that, we have the King of Wands, which is your energy, Leo Sag Aries. So yeah, standing your ground, really, really... Uh, coming in all this energy stability truth and that fiery energy that you know the fire signs have so i see maybe some saggies uh freeing themselves of a situation no longer serving them and finally speaking up and speaking their truth and standing in their power and following their hearts so i hope that resonated for uh some of you okay let's see who's next Virgo, earth sign Virgo. Any Virgos here? Let's see what the love energy is like, Virgo, for you. What's going on for Virgo? Virgo, Virgo. Welcome, everybody. Welcome. Thank you for being here. Please do like, share. If you like, like this, please do let me know. Trust. This situation is calling for you to have faith. So you're needing to trust in something here and have faith in something, whether this is a new connection or you have trouble trusting people in general. You know, maybe you're afraid to get involved with um, anybody new you could because of trust issues. We'll see where this is going for you, Virgo. Virgo. All right, let's get one of these for Virgo. Virgo. One more shuffle on this one. Oh, I just had that one. Right, let's do this one. <laughs> I hate that when I get repeating cards. So we have sac sacred union. Honor and treasure your relationship for it is truly sacred. So if you are having trouble trusting in a current connection or a current person because of your own issues, this is telling you to trust this because it's a sacred union. So this could be a heavy soulmate energy here for you, Virgo. All right, so let's see what's going on for Virgo. Virgo. All right, let's get your current situation. Wow. Again, with the Seven of Pentacles, it's just kind of waning around. That's your energy, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. So, yeah, I feel like it's like, do I want to invest? Do I not want to invest? I'm not taking any action. I'm just kind of standing here. I'm not, you know, I'm kind of stuck in a standstill. Do I trust? Do I not trust? I don't know what to do kind of energy. All right. So let's get your advice. The magician. So this is telling you to manifest this new beginning here to man. You can manifest this with this person. Um, and the magician is Gemini and Virgo. And the magician is one, which is a new beginning. So this is a new beginning and you may be feeling stuck, but the advice is to move this forward, to manifest this because spirit's trying to tell you this could be heavy soulmate energy here with sacred union. So let's see what the possible outcome could be. Could be you or your person. If you feel this isn't you Virgo, 
So please keep that in mind, everybody. If you feel like it's a situation, but not you, maybe your person, that could be it too. So let's see what the possible outcome is here. So the Four of Pentacles. So you still may hold back from this person. You know, the Four of Pentacles, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, is an energy of holding back yet holding on. Not giving uh, to a situation, holding on to something. Oh, let's see what's on the bottom of the deck. Three of Pentacles. So this is about working together, teamwork, collaboration. People coming together and working together. So the energy is here to work it out with this person. To trust, to build slowly, move forward slowly with this person. If you have trust issues, just being very practical and very slow progression here. You may have trouble, you know, giving to this person. But the energy is here for this new beginning to take place and to manifest. A lot of pentacle energy here. A lot. So, yeah, there, there needs to be truth, clarity here. So we have um, communication too. So definitely communication, truthful, honest communication. And working and being honest, you know, okay, how can you build and work to build my trust? If something happened in the past or it's just you you just have trust issues or your person just communicating and say look let's work slowly let's build slowly let's build the trust you can trust me um i could you know trust you whatever here and i think slowly coming out of this four of pentacles energy of slowly slowly giving the three pentacle energy because you're going from the four to the three so But it can be manifested. It's it's all here. Sacred union. Virgo, I think you can trust this person. I think this is a soulmate. All right, Virgo. I hope that resonated for you. I need a drink of water. All right, let's see who's next. Pisces, water sign. We have any Pisces here? Pisces, welcome everybody. Welcome, welcome. Thank you for tuning in. Thank you for watching. Everybody give a thumbs up. Super chat is open if you wish to. If you do, I greatly appreciate it. All right. If you like these bonus readings, I'll be doing them weekly and I'll be different every week. So you can let me know. I'm doing this loved one uh this week, this weekend, there's two because I just did the love connection readings before the generals and I didn't do the bonus then. So I figured I'd do it now. So if you like these, I'll continue to do them every week. So let's see Pisces. Unrequited love. Oh boy. There's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going. Unrequited love, Pisces. What's going on, Pisces? Is this something new and it's unrequited? Is this a relationship that is now at a stalemate and there's just no more love in the situation? So let's see what's going on. I'm getting a couple storylines. I'm getting some of you have been in a long-term relationship commitment and now it's just, it's like ran its course and there's no more um, like that love chemistry between the two of you. Or this could be something new where you feel love towards a certain person, but they don't feel the same. So let's see what's going on for Pisces. Let's get a message for Pisces. Let's see. We have trust. Wow. Transformation occurs through acceptance. Once you accept the current situation, it will automatically transform. So some of you may need to... Um, Except that this just may be an unrequited love situation. I don't know. Let's see. Let's see. Pisces. Let's get some tarot on this. Are you Pisces. Where is this going? For Pisces. The love energy. For Pisces. Spirit please. Whoever they're thinking about at this time. What is this trust and unrequited love about? Let's get current situation for you Pisces. Wow, the tower, Aries energy here. So something could be a revelation, surprise, something blowing up, something ending, something crumbling down, a shock. Ooh, all right, so let's get your advice. Four of Wands. 
So this is commitment. This is a happy home life, stability in the home life. It could be celebration, ceremonies, marriage. Oh boy, this could be it could be a marriage that is blowing up for some of you. Oh boy. Princess of Pentacles. So this is communication here. Uh Virgo Taurus Capricorn. So we've got the tower, four of wands, and the princess of pentacles. Let's see what's on the bottom. The three of pentacles. So some of you here I feel there could have been just uh, a little blow up in your relationship in a marriage or commitment of some kind. But now you, you may be coming back together and trying to work it out, uh, trying to build the trust back into the uh, relationship. And uh, maybe, you know, the love in this relationship was really, really tested. But now it's like coming forward with communication here and like rebuilding it very, very slowly and like rebuilding that trust back up, like rebuilding like whatever was blown up here. For some of you yeah so this definitely is a soulmate energy here um, someone that you've been with maybe for a very long time or known since childhood could have past lives with this person definite soulmate in the stars here Def definitely a divinely guided faith hope optimism healing energy patient energy so yeah healing a situation with a soulmate rebuilding the trust working on it very slowly and you might have had uh, some time apart here with the hermit energy, going in, thinking, reflecting. Um, you know, what do we do in this situation? Do we stay together, work it out? Do we go our separate ways? It could have been a period here of walking away with the Eight of Cups. But now I feel like you're healing. Some of you may be healing this situation and working very slowly to stabilize it, bring the stability and the trust back in uh, very slowly here to build that trust in the love back after it could have been some sort of argument blow up something here just something disruptive but i do feel coming back together working it out and building building the foundation back up in this very strong bond here with the four of wands soulmate energy with the six of cups there so okay pisces if some of you aren't um rebuilding with somebody you could be you know going on your own and rebuilding your own life here also healing yourself all right Pisces so I hope that resonated for you that's your love energy that's your little bonus reading thank you for tuning in everybody let's see who's next Aquarius any Aquarians here air sign let's see what we have for Aquarius Aquarius Let's chat down below. Tell me how this resonates for you, how your messages resonate. If they don't resonate for you, then it's probably not your message. So, And you may find that if you have other signs in your chart, that maybe some of these other messages may resonate for you also. All right, so what is the current love energy between Aquarius and whoever they're thinking about at this time? Let's see what we have. Heart-to-heart -heart conversations, honestly, Discuss your feelings with each other. So there needs to be some kind of truth here and really, really getting to the nitty gritty and having an open, honest uh, conversation here and a very uh, heartfelt, heart to heart, I feel, about a situation or how you truly feel about each other. Let's see what's going on for you, Aquarius. Let's get one of these for you, Aquarius. Let's see we have emotions are a natural and necessary part of life but they can also distort your perception and cloud your vision in order to see things clearly you must let go of resentment so if there's been some um, tense energies between you and your person um, negative energies or very emotional energies here it's and maybe you're like I'm getting this energy of like not really like talking to each other like just like being very cold to one another and like like you're living together but you, you could be together if you're not living together uh whatever here but just like really cold towards one another like not even talking to each other like giving each other the cold shoulder wow okay 
Aquarius, but I feel like you very, you really need to just open up one another. And, you know, if something happens, instead of just being cold to really, you know, honestly talk to one another, you know, try not to argue, but just say, look, I don't like the way you did this. I don't like the way you said that, that hurt me, or I don't like this or that. Very honest, honest communication needs to be had. True feelings need to be discussed. Six of Swords, yeah, so this is going into a better place. That's your energy, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. So, yeah, leaving all that energy, that negative crap, this is your current situation. Needing to leave all that, that cold energy behind and just go and move forward here in a more healing, peaceful, balanced place, a better direction. Things need to go in a better direction, a new way of thinking, communicating, acting or being with each other. Let's see what your advice is. Judgment, yeah. So forgiving things of the past, asking for forgiveness, having these heart-to-heart -heart conversations. Um, resurrection here of soulmates, making a judgment call on this, and forgiving all that energy and just having that heart-to-heart. And possible outcome here is the Seven of Cups. So, you know, maybe still feeling oh, confused, options, decisions, uh, energy here. Oh boy, let's see what's on the bottom of the deck. Prince of Swords. So, it's a Knight of Swords. So, the Knight of Swords is my reckless energy, rebel energy. Uh, can be an energy of just like attacking one another like verbal diarrhea, like just kind of <laughs> like attacking one another. Oh, I mean, the energy is here for this to be better, for things to be better. If you can be calm and honestly discuss in a more compassionate, loving place, forgiving energy with the judgment card. But the outcome here is confusion and, you know, kind of energy. And I feel like it may, you may just end up arguing again. And you kind of, Kind of need to try to control that um, energy. Yeah, feeling complacent, bored, and blah in the situation. But, you know, this could be a commitment here with the Hierophant. A marriage, a commitment between you and another person. But the Prince of Cups is here to say to be in a more loving, compassionate energy. Because it will bring balance here. Balance here with the Six of Pentacles energy. So that all that energy is there. If you can get out of this... Um, Bored, complacent, like arguing, bickering, confused energy and be in, in a more loving, compassionate, forgiving, um, calm, honestly discussing things as they happen rather than, you know, either arguing or just like turning your back and having that cold energy towards one another. It can go in a, can go in a better direction here for the two of you. Oh, okay, Aquarius. I hope that resonated for you. I feel like for some of you, this may be a long-term person, someone you're committed to, married to, living with, or something like that. It's an ongoing thing between the two of you, but something in that dynamic needs to change so it can be better balanced, a peaceful, harmonious, moving forward into the future. Wow. Okay. Hope that resonated for you, Aquarius. Let me know. Aries is next. Do we have any Aries? Aries, Aries. Thank you everybody for being here. I hope you enjoy this. Let me know how you like these. I'll be doing them every week as a premiere. And we can watch it together. We could chat together. Super chats open and available. If everybody, anybody wishes to tip or donate to support the channel is very, very much appreciated. So thank you, thank you. And everyone, check the description box below. Tons of stuff there. How to book a personal reading. All that stuff. Let's see what's going on between you and your person. What's the love energy, Aries? We have let your friends help you. Ask for and accept support from others. So you may need a friend's help here about uh, this connection. So whether it's trying to set something up between your person of interest and you, or maybe you need advice and guidance uh, from your friends, family, about your current situation between you and your person. Aries, you are number one. One is a, a new energy. So maybe this is a new um, 
connection or person of interest and maybe you're like I don't know how to approach this person I don't know how to talk to them I don't know what to do maybe they have no clue who you are and you're like asking friends you know it could be a friend of a friend that you like and you're like what do I need to do here so talk to your friends maybe they could set you up on a blind date double date or just somehow introduce the two of you to get the ball rolling I don't know we'll see what's going on here Aries, what's going on with Aries and their person of interest? Please, Spirit, thank you so much. New beginning, wow. <laughs> and I had said that. We have new beginning. A new adventure awaits. Embrace it and live your dreams passionately. So this could be a whole new beginning here with this person. Very passionate new beginning. And all your dreams may be answered, but you may need your friends to help you. All right, so let's see what's going on for you, Erie. Sorry about the shuffling. If you have a hard time hearing me over the shuffling, I'm trying to do it quietly so that you can hear me. So, all right, Aries, let's get your current situation. Seven of Swords. So maybe I'm getting this energy of like when this person comes around this is a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. You kind of like feel awkward. You don't know what to do. You may be feeling embarrassed or shy and you kind of turn your back and like kind of sneak away from this person because you just like, oh my God, there they are. And you like kind of run the other way. <laughs> That's kind of like the energy I'm getting. And this person with the moon there may have no clue that you like them because you don't let on that you like them for some of you. Or this could be your person of interest, Aries, that you're dealing with. So let's get advice in this situation. The Five of Cups. Oh, so. Oh, that's sadness, hurt, loneliness, loss. Let's get possible outcome. Let's get possible outcome. So we can piece this all together for you, Aries. The Two of Swords. So indecisiveness here. So I feel like definitely here you don't know what to do. The Moon Energy again. So. Yeah, I'm getting this energy of like, there they are. And then you like not run, but you like kind of like act like they're not there or you ignore them or you go the other way and you're indecisive. I don't know what to do. I don't know how to approach them. I'm shy. I'm scared. Um, but you're feeling lonely. You are feeling lonely, but it's like you just don't know what to do. Or you, this is your person. So some of you definitely need your friend's help, advice here. So let's see what's on the bottom of the deck princess of wands so this is passionate communication message good news so you know you may talk to your friends and you may find out this person actually likes you too and this is your energy uh leo gemini uh, leo yeah leo sag aries so so things going in a better direction here with the six of swords uh better direction but princess of wands is that fiery passionate communication good news so somebody needs to communicate and you may receive good news that this person actually likes you too so it's either you or them i feel like indecisive um kind of like shies away when this person's around you don't know what to do but yet feeling feeling the loss of like i like them and i'm like just sad and lonely i want a new beginning with them feeling very passionate but just kind of scared, lost, confused, maybe shy. Reach out. It's telling you here, reach out to your friends for help, set you up, introduce you, get the ball rolling. And that new beginning is their uh, dream come true, I feel like, and very passionate energy. We do have cups here, so there is some sort of love here and emotions and feelings and passion. Wow, okay. Aries. <laughs> Well, I hope that resonated for you, Aries. So someone needs to communicate, take action, or get your friends to help you in this connection. Aries. All right. So let's see who's next. Let's see who's next. Taurus, Earth sign. Let's see what the love energy is like for Taurus. Taurus, Taurus, welcome, Taurus. Let's see what's going on for you love energy between you and whoever you are thinking of at this time taurus let's see what we have for taurus 
Taurus, Taurus, Taurus. Okay, let's see what's going on, Taurus. We got free yourself again. Boy, I want to see what the next one is. Okay, getting to know. I don't like these repeating cards, and I felt like it was the card underneath, but I took the top one. So, getting to know each other as you reveal your innermost selves to each other, your bond deepens. So, Spirit, tell me, yeah, this was the card. I was supposed to take, sometimes I'm meant to take the one underneath the top one, and I took the top one instead. I don't know why. So, getting to know each other, getting to know somebody, Taurus, somebody new. Really revealing yourselves to each other and deepening that bond. Really, really getting. And we have two. You're two. So that is about unity coming together. All right. So let's see what's going on for Taurus. Let's see what's going. Let's get one of these for Taurus. We have one of these for Taurus spirit, please. Thank you so much. Feeling that one. We have power. You instinctively know what is right for you, and you have the power to say no or to walk away at any time. Oh, Taurus. So I feel like you're in the energy of, like, do I really want to spend the time to get to know this person, or do I just want to remain single? <laughs> you know, maybe, you like, having a singular, single bachelor, bachelorette kind of life, and you're like, you know what, I, I don't know if I want to settle down, so do I want to remain single, but I kind of like this person, I want to get to know them better, but I, I don't know if I'm ready, so maybe they want to get to know you better, maybe they want something more, and you're like, mm, I don't know, and you're thinking about it, so I feel like it's up to you, all the power may be in your hand or your other person's uh, hand right now about saying yes, okay, or no. So let's see what's going on. Taurus, what is the situation? Princess of Cups, so this is loving communication here. Loving communication, love offers, uh, words of endearment. Could be apology, too. Could be apologies saying no, I'm not interested, or yes, you know, I do like you. Let's get to know one one you know each other better. So let's get advice for you, Taurus. Six of Wands, so success and victory here. Very passionate energy, fiery energy, Leo Sagittarius. So there is energy here for this to be very passionate, very successful, very loving, as you get to know one another and deepen that bond. But ultimately, somebody is holding the power in this connection, either you or them. And somebody's waiting, I feel, for the other to make a decision about this. Maybe someone's offered uh, either commitment or dating exclusively or really, you know, wanting to solidify something here. And the other one's like, mm, I'll get back to you. <laughs> so let's see what your outcome is, Taurus. In this situation to a pentacle so still juggling things around virgo taurus capricorn so it may be your decision taurus maybe your decision and you know just kind of like juggling around back and forth do i don't i will i won't i you know i just don't know back and forth back and forth oh, so let's see what's on the bottom of the deck so there we go soulmate union here with the two of cups two lovers coming together cancer scorpio pisces so yep yeah. So I feel like we got two, two. Somebody here will make the decision to get to know somebody better here. You know, the, I feel like the power's been in the other person's hand. Finally, they'll realize juggling around their feelings, emotions, thoughts with the two of pentacles and come to realize, you know what? I do have feelings for this person. Two of cups energy here. You know, feeling bored, complacent, thinking about it. Yeah, I, I don't know what to do. Stress, fear, anxiety about it. Also with the nine of swords. That come forward with passionate communication here of yes i like to get you know to know you better soulmate union here so so i do feel heavy soulmate energy here but somebody is on the fence up and down but i think somebody will make the decision to get to know somebody better oh okay that's good it's good energy i do see you know success and victory here in this soulmate bond of getting to know one another all right taurus i hope that resonated for you 
that was your love energy. Thank you for being here. And you can stick around if you'd like to. If you'd like to watch your person of interest, uh, their message that hasn't come up yet, you can cross watch other signs in your chart also. So we have Cancer next. Any water signs here? Cancer. Let's see what we have for you, Cancer. Love energy between you and your person. Cancer, Cancer. What's going on with Cancer? Love energy for Cancer Spirit, please. Thank you so much. What's going on with Cancer at this time? What is passion again? Wow, we're getting a lot of repeating cards. It's been a little while since that card came out, so I'm going to keep that. So we have passion. Allow your heart and soul to sing with joy. So passionate connection here. Let's see. Let's get one of these for you, Cancer. We have another message for Cancer. Very passionate energy here between you and your person. Very joyful energy. This person could make your heart sing with a lot of joy. Your heart and soul. All right, this deck is hard to shuffle. Get one for Cancer. Mm, that one. Oh, this card reminds me, very peaceful card. So we have, the past is now behind you. Release it and embrace new possibilities. A new path is now available to you. Follow it with faith. So whatever happened in the past, let it go, let it be. If it was an old relationship here, you have this new passionate, energy coming in for you and um new possibility here very passionate energy I follow it with faith so it could be something divinely destined for you make you very happy joyous passion does remind me of fire energy so you could uh, be dealing with a fire sign with your Sag Aries all right cancer let's get your current situation for cancer stuck together one for cancer's current situation okay oh the ace of swords so brand new beginning here based on truth clarity cutting away things not serving you telling it like it is standing up for yourself big aha moment realization here that you know what i cut away the things of the past i'm standing in my power of truth and clarity and I have this divinely guided, successful, new, passionate beginning awaiting me with for me. Could be with a fire sign or air, uh, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. All right. You see that sword like all lit up with that fiery passion. So let's get your advice. Five of Pentacles energy, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. So this is, you know, I I. This is lonely, you know, loneliness, um, abandonment, left out in the cold energy, neglect. I feel like you cut out that energy already. You know, maybe your past relationship, you know, you were neglected or, you know, you just felt like it was, eh, it was over. And, you know, you took this sword and you cut that away. It's done. It's over. You cut that person out. You left them in the cold. I feel like that's a past energy because we do have the past is behind you so this is I feel like behind you and now you have truth and clarity pointing up to this new passionate energy following this sort of faith here divinely guided new beginning so let's see what the outcome is here for you cancer wow <laughs> and I just heard in my head ace 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 and now we have the ace of wands so fiery passion fire passion truth clarity Two divinely guided new beginnings here. Passion, passion. Wow. Okay. Let's see what's on the bottom of the deck. So more pa fiery, passionate communication. Fast travel, action. Could be traveling uh, to see this person, to meet up, uh, communicating, you know, on the internet, over the airwaves, in person. Yeah. Healing over things of the past with the Four of Swords. Healing energy again. Most positive card with the sun. Healing, faith, hope, optimism, something divinely guided, success and victory, healed over something of the past, definitely with the sun. And now this fiery, passionate communication coming in or just between you and your person. Although I don't see a lot of cups here, but, you know, a lot could be definite soul, soulmate energy here with the sun anyway. 
So if it's just fiery and passionate to begin with, I mean, it could lead into something more, could lead into love. And maybe you just want this fiery, passionate energy for now because you've been hurt in the past. And you know, I don't want anything too serious. Just have some fun, maybe for some of you. And, but yet yeah, being open and honest and upfront with this person. But I do see that this is divinely guided for you, so go with it, and it may lead to something more. Very joyous, happy and joyous here in the future. Okay, Cancer. Well, I hope that resonated for you, Cancer. That was your love energy bonus reading. Let's see who we have next. Thank you, everybody, for being here, watching. New, If you're new or returning, thank you so much for checking me out. Oh, we have Leo now. Leo. Any Leos out there? Let's see what your love energy is like between you and your person. Whoever you're thinking about at this time. What is the love energy for Leo? Leo. Love energy for Leo. For this bonus reading. Love energy for Leo spirit, please. Can we have one card? It is safe for you to love. Open your heart and give and receive the highest energy of all. So spirit wants you to know that if you've you know been through something and you feel like, eh, I don't know if I can love again, it says to open your heart and it is safe. So if there's somebody, it could be someone you're dealing with or it could be you if somebody's unsure, they're afraid, they're scared, afraid to open up their heart again. But... Spirit saying, no, it is safe. And I feel like here, somebody's trying to offer somebody something, and they're kind of like, eh, I don't know. I don't know. All right, so let's see. Let's get one of these for Leo. I want this one. For Leo, we have trust. No, trust again. Transformation occurs through acceptance. Once you accept the current situation, it will automatically transform. So trusting that it is safe for you to love again, either you or your person. Could be having trust issues about trusting to love again. So let's see where this is going for you, Leo. I think just having faith, opening your heart to receive. I think this will transform. This connection could transform into uh, love for some of you. All right, so let's see what's going on with Leo. What is the current situation for Leo? This one. The King of Pentacles. So Virgo Taurus Capricorn. So this could be you or your person. Feeling very um, confident now. Feeling very successful. Feeling you know, stable. Stable, stable energy here now. Someone's feeling stable. Being smart and practical. Somebody may want to make an offer. It's so a pentacle. Somebody's holding the pentacle here, like, like feeling very conf feeling very confident and stable. And it's like I got this pentacle and I want to offer it. So it could be you, Leo, wanting to offer this pentacle but afraid to and not trusting if is it the right thing to do. Or it could be your person, or somebody's made an offer and the other person's like, mm, I don't know, I don't know if I could trust this. I don't know if I trust love again. But spirit's saying, open your heart because it is safe to love again. A lot of stability here with the king of pentacles so let's see king or queen doesn't matter so let's see your advice the three of cups so this is coming together reuniting going out for a drink having a good time celebrating reuniting so yeah come together with this person just you know go out have a good time have a cup of coffee talk you know see where it goes very slow pentacle energy is very slow so building trust very very slowly practically practicality so let's see what the outcome is for you leo the six of swords so things going in a better direction libra gemini aquarius so things being more balanced healed going to a better place harmonious energy leaving all those fears or trust issues behind eight of cups so energy of walking away uh energy here but you could be walking to your ace of pentacles here very stable new beginning divinely guided very practical growth abundance for the future for the long term so this could be could be walking you know if you walk away you're going to miss a golden opportunity here with could be a love of a lifetime lifetime partner 
or you can walk to this person and have your ace of pentacles and have this lifetime stability with this partner here so it's ultimately up to you or your person to offer this ace of pentacle or not because things can be more balanced and things can go in a better direction and coming together you know king of pentacles a very smart analytical practical approach slow approach slow growth but is very abundant and stable and secure so there can be very stable energy here and just building very slowly and it can build into trust and love if you choose to and could be a lifelong partner here with the pentacle energy okay leo so i hope that resonated for you that was your love energy bonus love energy so i believe we have one sign left one sign left everyone gemini your last gemini so let's make it a good one for gemini spirit please thank you so much what do we have for gemini thank you so much everybody for stopping by watching if you're new checking me out thank you check out my channel if you like what you see please do subscribe all that great stuff we greatly appreciate it check the description box below all kinds of information personal reading information okay and anybody who super chatted that's open if you have thank you all right for all your support thank you everybody let's get love energy for gemini attraction a feeling attracted to somebody gemini you attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully so there could be an attraction here between you and another person or you could be using the law of attraction to try to draw somebody in here because this definitely does remind me of the um law of attraction card all right so let's see what's going on for you gemini what's going on for gemini feeling that one see what we have here a message for you i'm thinking of you at this very moment your love fills me with light i love you so this is like like thinking this and sending it out into the universe so yeah so this is like 5d connection here and trying to manifest with using the law of attraction like sending these positive loving thoughts and energy to your person of interest like in the 5d kind of energy so definitely using the law of attraction here and why am i shuffling this deck <laughs> okay tarot time for gemini last last sign last sign gemini let's see what we have for gemini gemini what do we have for gemini what is your current situation gemini the star faith hope optimism aquarius energy here divinely guided energy healing energy here so yeah divinely guided energy here between you and this person and i think the universe has had has heard your messages your thoughts has heard you using this law of attraction and they may be maybe bringing in this divinely guided person to you all right so let's see what your advice is gemini two of cups soulmate union wow cancer scorpio pisces so your advice is to keep <laughs> Keep doing this if you're using the law of attraction to keep doing it to keep sending those loving thoughts energies of knowing this is your soulmate this is your person and uh let's see let's see what the outcome is here for you gemini the magician so manifesting you're manifesting law of attraction manifesting here and this is gemini virgo energy so you're definitely manifesting using the law of attraction to bring in a soulmate and there will be a new beginning here with the magician energy because this is divinely guided and then we have a passionate new beginning here under the bottom of the deck leo sag aries very fiery passionate exciting energy justice will prevail here as you draw in this person the universe will bring justice into this situation very strong bond here wow very strong magnetic bond between you and this person yep and universe will bring it in for you very fiery passionate loving energy 
brand new beginning that is divinely guided. Wow. And I said, let's make it the best one. Good. And this is a great energy here. Gemini, don't give up and keep using that law of attraction and sending these messages and feelings out into the universe to bring in this person. This is your soulmate. Wow. Wow, Gemini. Wow. I hope that resonated for you. So everyone, those were your bonus mini love readings, love energy readings. I hope you like them. I hope they all resonated in some way. And um, I hope to see you next week in the next bonus reading. And take care, everybody. Have a wonderful Thanksgiving. And I shall see you next time. And you know I always say, so always, always shine your light.